What we want you to do is to give in to the emotional manifestation. I'm just enjoying the vibrational version of it right now. I'm enjoying the feeling of it. I'm enjoying, I enjoy knowing that I can be or do or have anything that I want. I want the feeling of it. Can you say that and mean that? Not really, you can't, but you could, wouldn't you like to say that and mean that? Don't you want to really get it that everything you want is you want it because of the emotion involved in it? Did you hear it? Did you feel it? Do you get it? Do you get it? Do you get what we mean about a vibrational reality that's going to move into something that you can see and hear and smell and taste and touch? Do you accept that you have a point of attraction? Do you accept that you have a point of attraction that you are realizing it's not showing up and then you see it, you are realizing it. And that's why it's showing up for you. That's the part that you got to start understanding. Because when you're looking around in this physical world and you see tangible things all around and you say, mm, want to get me some of those, want to get me some of those tangible things. That's not what creation is. Creation is you are creating them just as you want them to be. And then you are realizing them just as you meant for them to be. So this is the piece we want you just for a little while to think in terms of two different kinds of manifestations than you have been thinking about. We want you to call two things manifestations that you haven't been calling manifestations. We want you to refer to your thoughts as manifestations. I manifested this thought because what it really was, it was a vibration that was not discernible until I accomplished a vibration that allowed me to translate it. Ooh, that's big. Did you hear that? I am manifesting thoughts from vibration, streams of thoughts. You are, you're really good at it. I am manifesting streams of thoughts, streams of thoughts, streams of vibration, streams of thoughts are occurring to you, are being realized by you. What's the other emotion, the way I feel this is a man of Oh, oh man, I manifested, I manifested, I'm manifesting a feeling of love. I'm manifesting a feeling of clarity. It's a manifestation. What could be more? Think about it. What could be more manifested? What could be more manifested than something that you're feeling right here? What could be more real to you? There's nothing more real than an emotion. Everything you want is because you think you will feel better in the having of it. So if you're just go for that first. I am manifesting emotions because I'm focusing deliberately. I'm feeling my way into it. Well, what are you thinking about? Are you thinking about your business? Are you thinking about your legacy? Are you thinking about your products? Are you thinking about your possessions? Are you thinking about, or are you no, no, I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about how I will feel inside of those. And I'm able to find the feeling first because once I accomplish the feeling, now I've accomplished the frequency. Once I accomplish the frequency, now the translation, the realization will just be boom, boom, boom. Everywhere you go, another, another version of manifestation. All of you, you know how to get stuff. You've got this version. Well, I give of myself and I get some money and then I take that money and I exchange that money for this thing that I want. And hopefully I can give enough of myself at a high enough price that I can get enough back to go get the stuff that I want. And most people think that that's creation and it's not even close to what creation is. Creation is I look around the world and it helps me to define who I am and what I want. And I become constantly and the larger part of me holds steady the vibration of my constant evolution and expansion. And all day, every day, I can feel the vibrational relationship between what I'm allowing right here in this moment, not yesterday, not five minutes ago, right here in this moment, I can feel my vibrational relationship between all that I've become and what I'm allowing right here and now, because my source holds that frequency so powerfully and never for a moment stops calling me toward it and so as long as I focus in a way that allow that path of least resistance to go unfettered unhindered non-resisted then I feel glorious